हेलो नमस्ते माय सर डॉक्टर अतुल आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक कॉल्ड एलोपेशिया एरियाटा सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग व्हाट इज द कॉज ऑफ दिस साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स आयुर्वेदिक पार्ट एंड द ट्रीटमेंट पार्ट सो बिफोर गोइंग टू दिस वीडियो इफ एनी वन इज न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज लाइक subscribe and share it maximum so what is alopecia areata so alopecia areata according to the modern science it is a autoimmune disorder autoimmune disorder so what is autoimmune disorder so autoimmune disorder means every persons are having a immune defense system so whenever a foreign particle or a foreign body enters a body this defense mechanism or defense system goes and attack that foreign body so in this case the defense system attacks its own healthy cells unknowingly it goes and attack its own healthy cells in this case it attacks the cells of the hair follicles a condition that cause the hair to fall in a patchy matter so in this the hair fall will be in a patch or in a round shape oval shape or in a coin shape so when the hair is uh, lost in all over the scalp when it affects the whole scalp it is called as alopecia totalis and when it affects over the whole body whole body means it is including a eyelash eyebrow a pubic hairs armpit hairs when it affects whole body it is been called as alopecia universalis so major signs and symptom of alopecia areata is it is a majorly it is the patchy hair loss the loss of hair in a patch or in a round shape oval shape and it is been associated with burning sensation itching will be there and also we can see the nails are getting rough and also uh, splitting will be there and the white marks can be seen in that case so whom this uh, alopecia areata is been affected so regardless of the age it is been seen in both the men's and also in the women's regardless of any of the age so mostly it is been seen in the younger age below 30 like that is been seen but it can affect at any age group regardless of the any of the gender it may be male or a female it can affect the above the images of the alopecia areata cases and also you can see the uh, image of the alopecia totalis you can differentiate by seeing the cases in alopecia areata there will be a patchy hair loss and in the uh, alopecia totalis you can see the hair loss in the complete scalp area and also in alopecia universalis this will be affecting the whole body so here are the some of the images of alopecia areata and alopecia totalis this is the image of alopecia areata you can see a patch single patch now in this image you can see two patches that is oval and round nearly round shape patches in men's it affects the beard also beard mustache also it is been affected either it will be in a single patch yeah this is an example of the single patch now you will see the multiple patch in this image you can see the multiple patches round shape multiple patches and it has been advanced stage now uh, nearly many are there so it is converting it into totalis now you can see the patches Multi yeah in this image you can see the complete loss of hair in the skull here is uh, no hairs you can see any uh, surface you can see as very smooth and it's a case of alopecia totalis here eyebrow also you can see now in this in this image you can compare the alopecia areata and alopecia totalis it is a first image is of alopecia areata that also it is an advanced stage where it is been converting into alopecia totalis here you can see it is coming bigger and bigger in that image and second and third is alopecia totalis 
Uh, in this image uh, of second and third, you can see the loss, uh, complete loss of the eyelashes and even eyebrows has been not there. So in this case, the amount of hair loss, it differs from person to person. It's because in some person, it will be affecting one to two patches only, it will be seen sometimes. And in some persons, there will be multiple patches, four to five, it can be seen. So whenever a patch is seen on the back side, it is difficult to uh, get notice. We can't, it is not noticeable when it is in the back sides. So the saloon, when we go, go for the haircut, etc. There they tell that oh, hair, hair loss is there, means it's a patchy hair loss is there. Then only we will come to know that patchy hair loss is there and we consult a doctor. So in modern uh, modern science, the treatment it includes a corticosteroids and also some topical uh, creams etc. They are used. So according to Ayurveda, it has been called as Indralupta. In Indralupta, the Pitta Dosha get aggravated and this Pitta Dosha along with the Vata Dosha, it goes and settles in the root of the hairs causing hair fall. And in this condition, there is a Dushti of the Rakta also happening. So in Ayurveda, the treatments, uh, in treatment part, we should follow as I had already told in the previous videos in Ayurveda, there is a lot of importance of Patya, Aharaja and Viharaja. We have to follow all the Patyas along with the internal medications and the Ayurvedic treatments. Along this internal medication won't be a good choice because along with this internal medication, we should follow the some of the Patyas also. Jalauka Aucharna, Rakta Moshna has a great role in this condition. Rakta Moshna like Jalauka Aucharna, Prachanna, it is having a good role in this condition. So in Ayurveda, mainly we deal with the Nidhana Parivarjana because the Pitta Dosha has been aggravated in this condition. So we do the Pitta Dosha Hara Chikilsa. We give the internal medication uh, to reduce the Pitta, improve the Rakta, etc. Along with this Jalauka Avacharana, Nasya, etc. has been done. The use of Malatyadi Keratayala is also been there. So uh, for this, you can take small onion and cut into a half and also you can dip in the eladi churan and you can ha have a rub over the small areas where the uh, patchy is patchy uh, hair loss is there where it has been seen you can rub with this one for two to three minutes after that you can have a malatyadi keratailam and you can have a uh, massage for 10 minutes at least over that area you have to do regularly this one and also scissors quadrangularis scissors quadrangularis it has been seen uh, vastly and you can cut that into small and you can also rub with that in the affected areas along with other ayurvedic internal medicines so i request my viewers that if you are not getting any of the results by doing home remedies for about one week you can consult an Ayurvedic physician nearby for a better approach because in this case if you are getting uh, late uh, to diagnose and treat the alopecia areata it also leads you to the further stage that is alopecia totalis alopecia universalis so in this case you can you your complete loss of hair will be there in all over the body so if you are doing the treatment priorly it is good for you and also uh, it can it can help us to diagnose and treat the uh, disease easily so as i had told the patyas have a great role in this uh, in this condition and also in ayurveda the patya have the important role so in this condition the pitta vritti ahara vihara should be avoided the spicy foods chaat masalas and also the masala, every masala you have to avoid and achar, pickles you have to avoid and also the curd, the intake of curd also should be avoided. Any of the pitta, vartaka, ahara and also vihara should be avoided in this condition. The intake of non-veg eggs, 
etc so by this i am ending the video if you like the video please share and subscribe this channel maximum thank you